Good morning. morning. Welcome to Good Shepherd. Welcome to Sunday morning. Welcome to the house of the Lord. Today, first Sunday in November, we have a very special service. Today's All Saints Sunday. Today's a joyful noise service. And today, I have the honor and privilege to welcome to Good Shepherd the Dr. Dubious Band. So thank you so much, guys, for being here with us and allow us to worship our God with one voice. It's also a new month for the 75 Blessings Project. We cut the cake, we celebrated celebrated the the anniversary of the church. We have all this stuff done, but we continue to bless. And in the month of November, we'll be blessing the Seafarers International, and those are the folks who are in ships around the world and who are in need. So Please support our efforts. Krista is running uh, the campaign. If you have any questions, please check in with her. And thank you for being with us this morning as we celebrate All Saints Sunday and we remember all those who have passed away this last year. Now, please stand with me to begin our service with our first hymn, When the Saints Are Marching In.
God is with us. All the time. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hid, bless the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Let's confess our sin in the presence of God and of one another. Please kneel. Most merciful God, we confess that we are captive to sin and cannot free ourselves. We have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us. Forgive us, renew us, and lead us, so that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways. To the glory of your holy name. Amen. Almighty God, in his mercy, has given his Son to die for us, and for his sake he forgives us all our sins. As a called and ordained minister of the Church of Christ and by His authority, I therefore declare to you the entire forgiveness of all your sins. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Rise in newness. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us share this peace with one another. And if you're watching from home, please share the peace with those who are watching live with you. And if you're watching by yourself during the week, look at a window and say, The peace of the from Good Shepherd Lutheran Church, we're saying back to you and also with you. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Please remain standing. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace from above and for our salvation, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace of the whole world, for the well-being of the Church of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy house, and for all who offer here their worship and praise, let us pray to the Lord. Help, save, comfort, and defend us, gracious Lord.
Almighty God, you have knit your people together in one communion in the mystical body of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Grant us grace to follow your blessed saints in lives of faith and commitment, and to know the inexpressible joys you have prepared for those who love you. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Good morning. Today's first reading is from Daniel, chapter 7. In the first year of King Belshazzar of Babylon, Daniel had a dream and visions in his head as he laid in bed. Then he wrote down the dream. Daniel saw my vision by night, the four winds of heaven stirring up the great sea. And four great beasts came up out of the sea, different from one another. As for me, Daniel, my spirit was troubled within me, and the visions of my head terrified me. Approached one of the attendants to ask him the truth concerning all this, so he said that he would disclose to me the interpretation of the matter. As for those four great beasts, four kings shall arise out of the earth, but the holy ones of the Most High shall receive the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever, forever and ever. The word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm. Alleluia, sing to the Lord a new song, God's praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel rejoice in their maker, let the children of Zion rejoice in their ruler. Let them praise their maker's name with dancing, let them sing praise with tambourine and harp. Let the faithful rejoice in triumph. Let them sing for joy on their beds. The word of the Lord. So I am, for those who haven't met me, and I, uh, my name's Chris Pod. My wife and I have been members of Good Shepherd now with our family for 20 years, which still makes us relatively newbies compared to the rest of the congregation here. Um, I'm a member of the church council, currently vice president. I, um, my daughters are currently off to college. And I've been asked, I'm also a member of the stewardship campaign, which is why I've been asked to give a, a temple talk. I wrote it on a very small piece of paper, so I promise it will be fast. So my wife and I are big fans of an actress called Christine Baranski. And we've seen her on Broadway, we enjoy her television shows. And it's not just because she went to the same high school as my sister in Buffalo and went on a talk show recently saying how much she's a Buffalo Bills fan, as we are. Buffalo, I am a Buffalo native. And if I weren't here, I'd be at the Buffalo Jets game. So, small sacrifices. Um, so the, one of the things she said, she was on a, she's on a show right now where she plays a lawyer in Chicago and she was talking to one of her uh, coworkers who's very religious and she said, why do you pray every day? And he said to her, my relationship with God is matured so it's no longer transactional. And I think that's true for many of us now. It's like we are in November. November is the month of Thanksgiving to remember to give thanks and be grateful for what God has provided for us here in Good Shepherd, here in Glen Rock, here in the USA. And I feel like one of the gifts we have that Good Shepherd gives to us as members is something that I've always said about Good Shepherd is it gives you an hour away from distractions. You don't have your phone, you're not doom scrolling, 
you're basically, you're shutting off the noise of the outside world and just concentrating on your life and your relationship with God. And that's a, that's a few words about how I am still a member, an active member of Good Shepherd, how I currently relate in my relationship with God. But the other part of my temple talk is my relationship with you. Because I'm always going to go back to something that David Bickner once said when he was a guest speaker here, is he had to talk to people who are doubters about why people come to church. Why is it important for them? And he, they said that he, they realized after listening to him and talking to him, the word is community. You are my community. You are my family's community. And I feel that it's good to see people back in the seats again after two and a half years of COVID. And I am so happy to share physical worship with you here. And the, one of the things we're doing today is that we are in, uh, implementing coffee hour in the basement. So it's all set up. We hope that you folks will join us downstairs. Otherwise, I would have missed a really raucous um, you know, party in front of the Bills game in the parking lot <laughs> for this. Um, I'm going to make one more pitch since this is the stewardship campaign. One of the things that I do as an employee of UBS, the big Swiss firm, is I go through the matching fund program that they offer, and it doubles everything I give to Good Shepherd. It doubles my tithing. It doubles anything I give for the 75 offerings. What I'm offering here is if I'm just asking all of you who may be working for a large corporation, please look into whether or not your corporation offers that because I will support you any way it takes in order to encourage you to just once a month or once a quarter as I do it or even just once a year, check out the website, see if they'll do a matching gift for Good Shepherd. And as long as it's going for not for the day-to-day -day items, but if it's going for education and outreach like we have with St. Paul's, that is something that UBS is happy to sign off on. So please keep that, keep looking at that for stewardship. Um, and that's it. Thank you. Today's gospel comes from the gospel according to Luke chapter 6, verses 20 to 31. And this is the good news for us this morning. Then Jesus looked up at his disciples and said, Blessed are you who are poor, for yours is the kingdom of God. Blessed are you who are hungry now, for you will be filled. Blessed are you who weep now, for you will laugh. Blessed are you when people hate you, and when they exclude you, revile you, and defame you on account of the Son of Man. Rejoice in that day, and leap for joy, for surely your reward is great in heaven. For that is what their ancestors did to the prophets. But woe to you who are rich, 
for you have received your consolation. Woe to you who are full now, for you will be hungry. Woe to you who are laughing now, for you will mourn and weep. Woe to you when all speak well of you, for that is what their ancestors did to the false prophets. But I say to you that listen, love your enemies, do good to those who hate you, bless those who curse you, pray for those who abuse you. If anyone strikes you in the cheek, offer the other also. And from anyone who takes away your coat, do not withhold even your shirt. Give to everyone who begs from you. And if anyone takes away your goods, do not ask for them again. Do to others as you will have them do to you. Is the gospel of the Lord. You may be seated. Thank you for the beautiful music. It was terrific. So All Saints Sunday, today, first Sunday in November, All Saints Sunday. All Saints. Saints by grace alone. Saints who died in this church in the last year, since last November 2021. All Saints. All saints who are buried in our memorial garden right here, singing hallelujahs with us this morning. All saints, death is no more. Death has been defeated. All saints with people in the hospital today. All saints Sunday. Everybody. All saints. All those who have been baptized and who have been buried in the faith of the resurrection. All saints. That's you, that's you who are watching at home, that's me, all of us saints. I like to remind my wife every other week, you married a saint. And I have the paperwork. So hold on to your baptism certificate and make them handy in an argument with your significant other. But it's all saints, all saints Sunday, and that includes everybody, that includes you, me, and it also includes those who we don't like that much, people who are difficult to love. It includes your best friend and includes also the bully at school. It includes your wife and it also includes your mean ex-girlfriend. It's All Saints Day. It includes everybody. It includes your awesome boss who gets it and allows you to bring your pet to work and includes your bad boss who is asking you to come back to the office and stop working remotely. It's All Saints Day, all of us. And that idea of All Saints sometimes is hard for us to grasp because we're used to the idea that saints are amazing people, extraordinary people who earned the qualifier of saint. So what someone says, he or she is a saint, our mind goes straight into, oh, that person must be super nice, must be super good. That person cannot be a difficult person. That person can be kind. But here at Good Shepherd, our Lutheran church, on All Saints Sunday, we say the opposite. 
we say that we are saints not because of what we do, but because of what Jesus did on the cross for you and for me. Here we say in all saints that we are saints not because of who we are, but because of who God is. Here in Good Shepherd, we celebrate All Saints Sunday not because of our own actions, but because of the Lord's actions. That we are saved and we are saints by faith. We are saints by faith in Jesus. We are saints by faith alone. Like we say in the creed, confirmation class question. Are you guys here? How many creeds there are? Three, good. Give me a couple of names of the creeds. If you're not in confirmation class, please feel free to join the conversation. If you don't know what we're talking about, listen and you know, grow in faith. First creed, Nicene. Second, Apostolic. And last one, Athanasian Creed. And most of us know the Apostles' Creed by heart, and at the end of the Apostles' Creed we say, and I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion, the forgiveness, and the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. That's our faith. That's the faith of the saints, that death is no more, that sins are forgiven, that we are being called to be saints, all of us, and that life is everlasting. All of us. All of us saints. Your good neighbor and your bad neighbor. Those who think like you do and those who think the opposite way. All saints. And as we get ready for Election Day this Tuesday, i got to tell you that Democrats and Republicans, all saints, those who are in favor of Road versus Wade, and those who are against it, all saints. Too much? Too much to include so many people among the saints? You may have a visceral hatred of people who don't agree with you. Well, let's see what the gospel says today. Love your enemies. If anyone strikes you in the cheek, offer the other also. Give to everyone who begs from you. Love your enemies. This text from Luke is what it's called the Sermon on the Plain, Jesus' Sermon on the Plain in Luke that matches, echoes the Sermon on the Mount that Matthew has in the Gospel of Matthew chapter 5. These texts, these verses, contain the heart of Jesus' teachings. These verses establish the core of Jesus' promises. These verses stand in history as the gold standard for the Christian life. These are the teachings for the saints. And you're right, they're not easy. They're not easy. I'm okay loving you at church. I'm okay loving my family. I may be okay loving people in Long Island, but I'm not sure. (laughs) But to love my enemies. How about I volunteer at church and do something and we call it even? It's not easy. It's not easy to be called a saint. It's not easy to be counted among the saints of the Lord. Some may say we need to be born again, born from above. Some may say we need to be called into this new life in Christ. But I want to tell you that on All Saints Sunday, God is at work among us. I was in San Agustin, Florida last year. San Agustin, Florida, the oldest town in America. Beautiful town, touristy, a lot of shops and things to do, a castle, pirates. 
And in Sinaiticus, there was this guy who was a homeless man, but it was the kind of homeless man that everybody knew. He chit-chatted with everybody in town. Well known in the community, just happened to be homeless. He looked homeless. He smelled homeless. He was homeless. And one day he died. And police was in charge of finding first of kin. And they couldn't find anyone. And trying to find out who this person actually was, they found out his name, John Mead. Not only they found out that his name was John Mead, but they found out that he was a veteran from the U.S. Army serving in the 60s. So they reached out to Veterans Affair, and they were able to bury him with military honors. A homeless man being lifted up in faith as a saint with the honors that in this life were elusive to him, now in death, counted among the saints. Blessed are you who are poor, says the Lord, for yours is the kingdom of God. Blessed are you who weep now, for you will laugh. Have you guys been to Africa? I have not, so church trip. But in Africa and Libya, there are a lot of people who live from Libya, that's northern Africa on the Mediterranean, to cross illegally into Europe. And as you can imagine, like happens here in the southern border, they don't take the best of vessels to traffic people into Europe. So in these makeshift boats, a lot of people die and drown, and their bodies are washed ashore, specifically to a port city called Sarsis, next door to Libya in Tunis. It was so bad that the local cemetery filled up, and the local people say, hey, let's stop burying these folks in our cemeteries. Enough already, as the dead bodies continue to wash off into the shore. It took one man, Rachid Karachi, and I'm chopping his last name, but that's the best I can do. Rachid Karachi, a former fisherman, to do something about it. He bought a piece of land and started his own cemetery for those bodies washed ashore. And he build the cemetery in honor of his own brother who also have tried to go to Europe illegally and also have drowned in the Mediterranean. He says, they died in the same waters, they died in the same sea, and were taken by the same salt. All Saints Sunday, Includes you, includes me, includes those who have died here at Good Shepherd, includes those who are in the Memorial Garden, includes John who lived in homelessness for many years, and includes also the nameless who are in Rachid's cemetery in Tunis. All saints. Blessed are you who are poor, for yours is the kingdom of God. Blessed are you who weep now, for you will laugh. I don't have to tell you that there's things that are easier to do than others. There are things that are easier to do than other things in life that are harder to do. Like, for example, for me, preaching on All Saints Sunday, it is easier to talk about Movember because I have my mustache right here. It's coming out. To my fellow man, try to grow a mustache and see what happens. I will not shame you or laugh at you. I will honor your mustache, whatever shape or form it has. And as you know, I do this every year. November is a campaign in November that men who don't usually have a mustache will grow a mustache like myself during November. And the hope is that people who know you say, hey, Jay, what are you doing with a mustache? And I say, well, it's November. And what's Movember? November is Men's Health Awareness Month. And we say Men's Health 
there are some things that are easier than others to do. Of course, you know it's a call for you to have a physical. Have you had done your physical this year? It's also for screening from prostate cancer and testicular cancer. Have you done those checkups? Now, it is easier for me to talk about testicles. That is not usually something I say from the pulpit. But it's easier for me to talk about our private parts in a month like November when I'm talking about mental health, I'm sorry, uh, men's health, than to talk about mental health. Because when it comes to mental health, unfortunately, there's still a lot of stigma. And when people suffer mental health, they don't usually volunteer that information as opposed to other things. And Movember wants to speak about mental health and also suicide prevention. Another thing that carries a lot of stigma. Did you know that in America in 2021, 48,000 people committed suicide? 48,000 people. And when I say America, I don't only mean out there, I also mean right here, in this town. In this town, this year, at least two people jump in the train trucks. The last one was in June, in the middle of the night. He was waiting for the express train. I was there as a volunteer firefighter. They called the fire department for help because his body was scattered through half a mile of train tracks here in town. It was the first time that I ever responded to such a call. It was the first time that I have to see what actually happens when someone jumps in the train tracks. They didn't know what to do, standing there. I wish I was a Catholic so I could say the rosary or something. You know, I felt that something needed to be done to honor this life. Well, they're gathering the different body parts. I wish I knew hymns by heart so I can sing something. Like, just as I am without one plea. Just as I am to toast about with many a conflict, many a doubt. Fighting and fears within, without a Lamb of God, I come, I come. It was a long night. I wish I was Catholic to say a rosary. I wish I could sing better to offer a hymn of praise. I wish I knew scripture by heart. So I can say Romans 8. Apostle Paul writes, Who will separate us from the love of Christ? Will affliction or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword? No. In all these things we are more than victorious through him who loved us. For I am convinced that neither death nor life nor angels nor rulers nor things present nor things to come nor powers, nor heights, nor depths, nor depression, anxiety, schizophrenia, or bipolar disorder, nor any kind of mental illness, nor suicide, nor anything else in all creation will be separated from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. People, today is All Saints. All Saints Sunday. All saints, not because of what you have done, but because of what Jesus has done. All saints, Sunday, not because of who you are, but because of who Jesus is. All saints, Sunday, not because of your actions, but because of the action of the one who left the tomb behind. Because of the actions of the one who was nailed to the cross. The one who called us saints. All Saints Sunday, Sermon of the Plain, the Beatitudes, 
And as Chris was saying earlier, today we start our stewardship campaign for 2023. And I would love to be able to ask you for money this morning, but it's All Saints Sunday, so I have to ask you instead to care for the poor. I would love to ask you to pledge for 2023 so we can meet our financial obligations next year. But instead, on All Saints Sunday, I have to ask you to feed the hungry. I would love to ask you for money so we can start our new memorial garden and expand the memorial garden and have a beautiful new place for church and those who have died in faith. But instead, in All Saints Sunday, I have to ask you to care for the brokenhearted. I would love to ask you for money this morning. But I have something much more harder to do. I need to ask you to love your enemies, to turn the other cheek, to give to those who beg from you, to be a saint like the Lord Jesus has called you to be. It is not easy. It is hard. But the good news is that God will do the heavy lifting because it's God who can turn light, darkness into light. It is God who can turn tears into laughter. It is God who can turn death into life. And it is God who can turn sinners into saints. Amen. Please join us for our next hymn.
together. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. United with your saints across time and place, we pray for our shared world. Lord, in your mercy, Holy One, your church rests on your faithful who came before us. Give bishops, pastors, deacons, and lay leaders the will to carry the church forward and discern your will for the future. Lord, in your mercy, Holy One, we pray for all those who are sick in body, mind, and spirit. We especially pray for Evangeline, Roberta, and Claire. Lord, in your mercy. Holy One, you raise up leaders to guide your people, kindling them a passion to care for others, a desire to seek the common good, and the courage to love their enemies. Lord, in your mercy. Holy One, you bless those who are poor, hungry, and reviled. Provide food, housing, and security to all who are vulnerable or in crisis. May those who have more than enough give generously. Lord, in your mercy. Holy One, hold us in community with one another. Nurture a spirit of abundance and hospitality inclusion among us, welcoming the gifts of adults and children, inspire creative visions for our life together. Lord, in your mercy. Holy One, we remember in thanksgiving all those who have died at Good Shepherd this last year. We remember Dorothy Backman, Warren Bourne, Larry Sincagrana, Thomas Folger, David Hamilton, Judith Hamilton, Linda Holman, Mary Ann Janso. Robert Knopp, and Dolores and Fred von Ricklinghausen. Wipe away our tears, O Lord, and comfort us with the promise of everlasting life in you. Lord, in your mercy. In this faith, in this hope, we present now ourselves to you in this moment of holy silence and awe. Lord, in your mercy, accept these prayers, gracious God, and those known only to you, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. You may be seated.
Let us pray. Merciful God, we offer with joy and thanksgiving what you have first given us, ourselves, our time, and our possessions, signs of your gracious love. Receive them for the sake of him who offered himself for us, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.
again after supper, he took the cup, gave thanks, and gave it to all, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood, shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sin. Do this for the remembrance of me. And in this way, in the real presence of our Lord Jesus Christ and bread and wine, join us with the prayer he taught us, saying, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as 
The body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ strengthen you and keep you in his grace. Amen. Let us pray. God of abundance, with this bread of life and cup of salvation, you have united us with Christ, making us one with all your people. Now send us forth in the power of your Spirit, that we may proclaim your redeeming love to the world and continue forever and ever in the risen life of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.
Thank you.